All right, today we're gonna to learn how to thread the Janome Magnolia sewing machines at Farnsworth. So when you sit down at your sewing machine, it should be all wrapped up from the last person who used it. You need to undo your cords. Um, if you're having a hard time getting them undone, you can undo the plug on the side, okay? There is a pedal as well as a power cord that needs to come off, okay? We'll just set those off to the side. We're not gonna worry about them right now because we do not plug in the sewing machine until it, it is threaded, okay? So once we're done, next thing we're gonna check is to make sure that everything else is where it needs to be, okay? Your stitch selector, which is the top one with the letters, and then the length selector, which is the bottom one with the numbers, need to be at A and about two and a half, okay, so A, two and a half. If they're not there, adjust them now. At the top, this wheel for width needs to be at three. If it's not there, adjust it now. And then over here is your tension dial, okay? If it is not currently at three, adjust it to three as well. So, A, two and a half, three, three. Okay, all of your wheels should be set. Now let's talk about actually threading the machine. Okay, up here is your thread disc. We're gonna pull this off. Okay, you're going to get your spool of thread that you have. Holding your spool of thread, okay, you want the thread coming off the top, falling to the back. So my thread's coming off the top, falls to the back. We're gonna slide it onto the thread pin and put the disc back on. Slide it right up against it. This is what keeps your thread from spinning off into oblivion. Okay, you're gonna take the thread in a pincher grasp and you're gonna pull it over to this little finger, little plastic finger right here. Okay, behind it is a little pin and when you pull, you will hear it click into place. You can't be talking or you won't hear it. At this point, there are now numbers on your sewing machine. This is a left turn arrow and then there is a number one. This number one is telling you to go down this first channel here. So we're gonna go down this channel with the number one. When you get to the bottom, there's a number two with a U-turn. Go around that number two. Continue to hold on to your thread. When you get to the top, there is a number three. There's a little metal piece in here. This is called your take up lever. It needs to be up and out of the machine. So if it's not, on this side right here is your hand wheel. Turn it away from you, like turn it towards the back of the machine until this pops up. Once this pops up, your thread is going to go underneath it. And again, it will click into place. It looks like the thread is going through that little loop, which is exactly what it's doing, okay? The thread goes through that loop. And again, back down the same channel you just came up. When you get to the bottom, there is a number four, okay? And now we're getting ready to thread. So I'm gonna lower you down so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. Okay, so this number four is pointing down, okay? Down here is where all the business is happening. We've got our needle, we've got our presser foot, okay? Your presser foot needs to be raised. So right here, this little black handle, you can stick your hand under the arm of the machine and grab it and hold it while raising it. It should never make a thunking sound. There is a spring in there. If you thunk this, you will break the spring and it costs lots of money to repair. So hold it anytime you are raising and lowering it, okay? So now I have my needle, my presser foot is raised, okay? My thread comes down here in the number four channel. And now I am going to take my thread. It should have a nice crisp edge on it. If your thread does not have a crisp edge, you may need to cut a new edge. And you're going to go front to back through the needle. Okay. Um, Doing it on an angle, actually, like I'm doing it, I find is much easier than trying to do it straight on. So if you're struggling doing it straight ahead of you, turn the machine or turn your body and try to do it at an angle, you might have a better chance. So it goes front to back, so now the thread is coming out this way, okay? I'm gonna take my thread and put it down 
in this opening in the presser foot. This little thing that looks like skis, okay? You're gonna go down between it. There's a little oval shaped opening. And then my thread should go off to the left about eight inches. Now we're gonna do the bobbin. This is your bobbin, okay? There's a little release lever here and your bobbin door will come out. You see these images on the bobbin door. This image is showing you exactly how to install your bobbin. Your bobbin lays down with the thread coming off the top and going to the left. You'll put it straight down. There's a little gap in the metal at the bottom. Straight down, you'll wrap it around that piece and then it goes off and out the bobbin opening to the left. So, if we come a little closer, let me look down in there. Okay, my thread is coming off the top. Oops, dropped it in. My thread is coming off the top and to the left. You can see my thread over here. Off the top and to the left. I set it in and I pull it straight down into the opening right here in the metal. It's going to wrap around that little piece and then it's just going to come off and to the left. Oh, sorry guys, my bobbin door is over here. Oop. Once it's off, you snap the door back on and you are ready to sew. Feel free to fast forward, rewind, replay this video as many times as you need until you get your machine threaded.